What's up guys, Aaron Productions here and I am finally making another video today. This one's going to be a more creative video like I've done with the Voicevac board before. This is a different board, still not sponsored. This is just um, something that I found on Amazon and I'm actually going to use it on my system. Which, disclaimer, please do not use this on a like real field installed system. If you're a technician, I'm pretty sure you know that you can't do this. Um, this is just um, for my hobby system and I'll tell you a bit more about it. Um, so this <laughs> this was definitely opened like this was definitely an Amazon return but it's a smart controller 4 channel which is basically just 4 relays. Um, this is what the box looks like. It does say that it's compatible with um, Alexa so I'll have to see if that's true. If it is that's pretty cool. And then it came with this manual here, which um, this side's in Chinese, this side is in English. It came with some blood or something pre-installed, so that's always nice. I really only use this for this little diagram here, which it's even missing some of the uh, contact names. Like it says normally open and then common and then there's like no normally closed thing. It must have done like a scan of it. So I've actually done something like this in the past, but I used a Woods Wyon outdoor outlet that they sent me and then I used a 120 relay. Now one of the issues with that is that it's gonna stay on until it gets turned off again. Like if I wanted to reset my panel, I'd have to say Alexa, turn on reset panel, and then say Alexa, turn off reset panel, or else it's just gonna loop, I guess. I'm not sure what happens when you hold down the reset. So this board actually has like a little timeout function. So um, let me just demonstrate it here. This one's a silence, so it's not gonna do anything. But I have it set to go on for 10 seconds. As you can see, silence is active, but after the 10 seconds, it's just gonna turn off. You don't need to say Alexa turn off. And now, like I don't think before you can make commands with Alexa, but now you could say like Alexa silence. You could write the program that says, when you say Alexa silence, do the action of telling whatever this is called to turn on. One nice thing about this also is that if you wanted to use the functions, um, like let's say, I think one of, yeah, this one's a medical alert. So um, each of the channels has a button so you could act, like I just did before, you could activate the relay. And now you could see, it's gonna go into medical alert. Now if I wanna silence that, let's turn on the silence relay. And it silenced it. Um, I also have drill and then reset. Really quickly, you can watch this video of me programming everything in. wondering how I did that you just hit mode go into programming into your password now you go to input zones which is number one and then I set it up so that um, the zones six seven eight and nine are used for this so we're gonna go to zone six number three on the second page this one's set to reset switch so the first one all right relay two is a reset switch because I actually um, this is all temporary because I'm actually going to use this on my 9200, but I should have paid attention. The relay is backwards, like um, I just connected relay 2 to the first one and then relay 1 to the second, relay 4 to the third, and it's <laughs> whatever. And here are, you can see that I set the description for everything. Reset is relay 2, drill is relay 1, medical alert relay 4, and silence is relay 3. Um, since I labeled everything, you know exactly what each button does. Another nice thing about this is it uses um, 7 to 27 volts, I think. Um, so, of course, you could hook this right up to the non-resettable power. Please do not hook this up to the resettable power because you're going to have it reconnect the Wi-Fi every single time you reset your demo system or whatever. So, which one's the reset one? So, Relay 2. Let's see if it'll exit out of programming. Wow! Oh. That is a bad prank. Imagine somebody had a reset switch and then they they had their buddy out there in the field and they're just pressing the reset switch when they're trying to program it. Let's dive a little bit more into the installation of this. So I actually did a time lapse. So here's the time lapse.
Now let's go over it a bit more. So over here on the board, we just hook up to the common and the normally open connection. And then there's a resistor that goes across those two terminals. Um, just so, of course, we don't get into trouble. All that happens now when I press, or when a relay is activated, it's going to short out the contacts just like it would with a zone. Of course, if you did this with a regular panel and not a addressable panel that has the capability of assigning something to be a reset switch or silent switch, it's just going to be fire. So, of course, somebody's going to ask me if you could do this with a different panel. Of course you can, but everything is just going to be fire. Um, so unless you have a 5UD, 10UD, pretty sure 9200. I really hope it has um, all the same features that were in here. But anyways, more into the wiring. So we just have two pairs of definitely 22 uh, stranded. <laughs> this is um, security cable. Um, I didn't feel like wasting any FPL on a little demo here. If you wanted to be more official, even though this clearly isn't official, then um, you can go ahead with that. All this up here just connects into the respective zones. So these two terminals, these two terminals, these two terminals, these two terminals. It's just contact closure stuff. If you're going to ask me questions about how relays work, I think you shouldn't be purchasing this. I think you should have a good understanding of how something works before you buy it. Um, I have a lot of questions on the voice evac board, which speaking of that, um, I have a little form in the comments. It's a pinned comment on that video. I'm going to make a follow up on my BTS channel. Please read the manual of what you got because most of the time it's going to be something different than what I have as well. But I will link this for the relay board in the description. I'm not going to say that I don't know that this is going to um, go on your local network and steal all your information and send it to China. I have no clue. I'm not affiliate. I'm just showing you guys what you can do with this. Now also somebody might say, oh, why didn't you use an Arduino? You can program everything. I knew how to do an Arduino. I sure as hell would have done one um, and made a whole app and UI if you could do that. Probably for a Raspberry Pi or something. This is just a standalone option that I could use immediately after getting it out of the box from Amazon. But anyways, that's enough talking about it. Let's show how it works. Here's me putting the app on my phone. So first thing you want to do is search for the eWe Link app on the App Store, and then you're going to download that. And once it's open, it's going to ask you to accept the terms and notifications. You have to create your account, and then you go to quick pairing mode, which my uh, device was already in pairing mode, so I just plugged it in and then gave it my Wi-Fi SASID and password. Also notice that it only works on 2.4 gig Wi-Fi. And then you're into the app and you have your four channels. Next thing you want to do is set your inching duration, which that's what it's called. Um, so I set mine to all go to 10 seconds, so after 10 seconds the relay will turn off like I've shown previously. And then I also made a shortcut to the app so that it'll show um, MS9200 UDLS. Obviously this isn't a 9200 UDLS, but the end panel will be and I didn't feel like changing it just for the video. So uh, if you're wondering how to do that, you just do a command and shortcuts if you have an iPhone that says open app and then select the eWe link app to open and then add to home screen and then you just put the photo of the logo or whatever you want. Once you get it on your phone, then you could go on the app. I'm pretty sure you could get rid of that thing that says shortcut is executed or whatever. But then you just have your four buttons on here. And then you just click the buttons to do whatever you need. So I said channel three was um, silence. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that that will turn on the silence. As you can see, silence is active and then the relay will turn off after 10 seconds and that message will obviously go away. I believe channel one is fire or uh, drill. So let's demonstrate that. The panel will go into alarm, evac. Okay, now we're gonna do channel three to silence. Now, of course I could label all these channels. Um, I should label them. So then channel two must be a alarm. Or no, channel 2 is reset, my bad. Let me demonstrate an actual alarm condition here. There we go. And then we'll do silence. And as you can see, alarm silence with the silence switch input. And then, reset. And then finally, since I didn't demonstrate it, we're going to do... Uh, well, I demonstrated it before. 
with the buttons, but we're going to do medical alert, which is my relay four, and then we're going to do channel three for silence, silence that, and then we will do channel two for reset. So there you go. Um, that's how it works. It's just turning relays on and off to do different functions. Really, all of the um, major lifting of this operation is inside of the panel since it has these different input assignments. Really, the amazing thing here is the panel. This is just a Wi-Fi relay. These have been around for a very long time. Really quickly, let's see if I can get this to work with Alexa like it says on the box here, just because I think it would be cool. So I'm gonna try and figure that out real quick and then I will come back. So this is really simple to set up. All you have to do is set up the Ewe Link skill in the Alexa app. So then you connect it to your account and then you just discover devices like you would do with any other smart plug. So you can see I have the four channel relays there. Now we'll create a routine is what it's called. So we're gonna call this reset. And then I'm gonna say that when I say Alexa, reset then it will do the action of turning on the smart plug which is the relay it's just labeled as a smart plug so there we go with that and I also set up another one for um, drill but unfortunately didn't work as you'll see here okay so as you saw I set it up let's turn on my dusty echo dot third gen um, let's see if it works um, Alexa, drill. Alexa, drill. It's not working for some reason. Alexa, reset. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that worked. Um, for some reason my drill command wasn't working. But, as you saw, she did reset it. So that's pretty cool. So now you could say, Alexa, test my system. <laughs> and it'll go off. I'm pretty satisfied with this board. Not sure who actually makes it. So anyways, that concludes this video, guys. Questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Hopefully, I will have some new videos out soon, including a new series that I'm thinking of. Hopefully, it will work out the way I'm thinking in my head. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Peace out.